Hideki was started on a very, very crumpled piece of paper. One day as I was cooking, I told myself that I wanted my own place. I wanted my own shop. Not a restaurant, but just a shop. Where I wanted something that provides flexibility, versatility, and customers come here, right? They can expect flexibility that they can choose whatever they like, whatever they want, according to that day itself, according to their mood. I'll try to make it look as good as possible. I'll try to play it as nice as possible. And the quality is always kept at a tip top. My name is Nicholas. Uh, people call me Milo because of during my time in army, my army tech was MYLO. I have been in this industry since I was 14. I uh, started with part-time at Junction 8, one of the Japanese restaurants. After three years of waitering, I decided to join uh, the kitchen. Uh, and that's where I really, really fell in love with cooking. After that, I went on to pursue Japanese. Japanese cuisine is actually really, really not easy. Everybody thinks that it's just about slicing things uh, finely, neatly, uh, doing the sashimi cutting, but they don't really know what's happening behind the scenes and how it takes to learn the skills. And there was a time where I got scared of fishes. Uh. <laughs> yeah, because I saw it every day, but the passion burned through it. The passion really took me, took me to where I am today. I actually wanted to bring more dishes to Ishun, to my store where I can let everybody experience uh, as much as possible from every... My grandma has been cooking for me since I was young. So I've always eaten a food, taken a food as a standard for the level of food that should be eaten, that should be going to my stomach. To me, she is, la, she still is my idol la, after all this time. So one of my main reasons why I started to love cooking was due to her. Hideki is a Japanese name. I was quite shocked when somebody urban dictionary for me. It means superior and excellence. Yeah, it also means timber trees. I like being excellent. Ah. <laughs> uh, how did I come up with this Chai Peng concept? Crudely speaking, it's Japanese Chai Peng. Ah, because currently there's a lot of Ang Mo Chai Peng. It's all the poke bowls and such. For me, I wanted to do something different. Instead of doing it purely based on ingredients, I would serve side dishes. When you come to my store, if you want to eat Japanese food, you can order the tamago, my onsen egg, the edamame, uh, then, if you want to eat Western food, you can order the Japanese Western fusion mix of the coleslaw, the Japanese Western potato salad, the sauteed mushrooms, which is also a Japanese Western mix. So, a few years back, when I found out, when I first found out about sushi, I was actually very happy because there's always a temperature where you can keep things juicy and tender. Uh, we'll end it with a chat aburi finish. Aburi is charring the meat with a uh, blowtorch, but we don't char it till it turns. Chao ta, in a sense. We do it just for the flavour and the texture. So when you bite, you have that mouthfeel when you bite into it. And then uh, there's that chart taste while inside still being juicy and tender. Yeah, and I'll do the both for you as pretty as I can and you, it will taste as good as I can make it real. Uh. Yeah. It's my best proteins currently are salmon, which is actually valued at $6. So it's about a 175 to 180 gram cut. Uh, but I always try and push for the 200 but it's actually really depending on the on how the salmon is cut itself. I'm really trying my best to bring quality, to bring standard uh, to, to Hideki as, of, as much as possible. Uh, it's always my number one requirement. Uh, food must be good, standard must be there, service must be number one, your quality cannot draw. Yeah. So that's how people can trust us. My next best protein will be the chicken. My chicken is marinated uh, for overnight, then it's uh, sous vide at 74 degrees for one, and, one hour to one and a half hours, depending on how juicy I want it to be. So my sides, the special ones, are the potato salad and the coleslaw. Because they both are using my version of mayonnaise. Yeah, my, own my own secret little creation. Like Professor X, little spice and everything nice. Yeah. And on my onsen eggs are following the very standard, standard cooking from the sous vide method which is actually 62.5 degrees for one whole hour. Yeah. But it has to be kept warm at a certain temperature so that you will retain its jiggly, jiggly, jiggly shape. Yeah. So my onsen eggs always have to be in that jiggly, jiggly, jiggly shape. Otherwise, I'll crack another one for you. It's what I want. I want people to experience the wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Ah. Then so you can boomerang on Instagram. Ah. The, the best selling ones, really. Abri broccoli. 
Hey, we call it ugly broccoli because actually I wanted to call it uh, chuck broccoli. But it was using another method. But I decided to adopt the, the, the lock lock method. Yeah, from Malaysia, the JB one. Where you throw in the deep fryer uh, for a while. So you bring it up. So the flour itself is very crispy. The stem itself is crunchy. While inside is irritating the sweetness. I order 10 kilos of broccoli every every two days. Yeah, that's that's how much I I sell my every broccoli. Yeah. My struggles are sleep. Uh. I love sleep, but I cannot sleep anymore. Eh. Now every day is about three, four hours of sleep. Where I used to have diced sweet potatoes, I used to have inoki tempura, but due to the space constraint and how big my menu is, we are really unable to do anything to support these dishes. But once everything settles down, maybe in the, in the future, the near future, if my menu really expands again, I'll be bringing things back. Yeah, rather than just let it be removed. I'm currently coming out with a new menu, lah, so it's going to be prettier than that. Yeah, it won't have any, any masking tape. Man. My, my panda eyes coming out. Eh. I need to put SK2. Eh. <laughs> your food will come out with shiny for the first time. <laughs> Hello. We have been labelled as comfort food. We have been labelled for good for kids. We have been labelled as restaurant quality in a hawker store before. But it's actually, it just boils down to what you feel on that day. What's your mood? Uh, if you're feeling happy, you maybe want to eat a bit more unhealthy stuff. Then we have chicken skins, we have our salmon belly bites. But if you're feeling healthy, super health conscious, all of a sudden like, you think you gain five pounds when you actually lost 20 pounds, that kind. Uh, we have the garden salad, uh, which is great with the sauce, because the sauce coats the vegetables. Steamed broccoli, which can be used in the keto diet. Lah. Thank you for supporting my dream. It's been a very long process till the day I set up my own shop. Thank you for letting me run my dream and making everybody as happy as possible. Thank you very much.